is Daniel Irving um, and I am an English language teacher here at Regent. IELTS consists of four different tasks. Uh, so we begin with the oral, the speaking exam, uh, which is followed by the listening exam, which is about half an hour. Uh, we then have the writing, which consists of two different essays. And then there is the reading part of the IELTS exam, which is only one hour. Um, and I say only one hour because students tend to find that it's not enough time. It's, I'd say, is the hardest part of the IELTS exam. I need 6.5 to uh, join the university that I've chosen. I need 7 or 7.5. It's very important that they set high goals for themselves in IELTS because you have to work. If you don't put in the work and you don't put in the studying, you're not going to get the grade you want in IELTS. It's as simple as that. Um, the other important thing is, is to remain calm and confident in your exam because as soon as you start getting nervous or you start getting anxious, that's when you stop concentrating or you make silly mistakes. Spelling you would think is, is such a simple thing we don't pay much attention to but if you get the correct word but the incorrect spelling in IELTS you do not get the mark so also spelling is incredibly important I would normally try to have at least one mock test each week as well under exam conditions so that the students are prepared for what they will get in the exam and generally they do actually say the comments I've had from them, it's a lot more difficult than they thought, but it's really valuable to have the mock because that is what they're going to get in the exam and it really does benefit them to be aware of what they'll have. But actually, making mistakes in the classroom is a good thing because then you're less likely to make the same mistake in the exam. Mm -hmm.